Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the shiny only fire model type run of Fire Red Canto Complete. Get out of my Get the fuck out of my way! Last time we acquired a Magby, evolved it into Magbar, took care of business on the SS Han. And this time, we're taking on the Vermilion City Gym. Then we're gonna do a bit of backtracking to pick a flash and make our way over to Rock Tunnel. I don't know if we're gonna go through it this time, but we're gonna get to the entrance, I'm pretty sure. So, there's a couple of gym trainers in here. And there's the trash can puzzle. So, uh, well, let's take care of the trainers first. Again, the, you can't battle the trainers again after you beat the gym leader, so I might as well beat him now. Okay, maybe I should have taken Flame Wheel just as a backup move, but I don't need it. Alright. Oh, fuck you! Bitch! You spiteful bitch! Oh, stop! Stop, you say? I'll show you! After taking out my anger on that old fart, now we can solve the puzzle. Okay, so first things first, we gotta find which one has the first switch. Uh, this is tedious. Eventually you're gonna find w the one that has it, but... Okay, now, pro tip, it's pretty much always one that's immediately adjacent to it, so you want to reset. You want to save, so you don't end up wasting your time. So, is it this one? Yep. Alright, now. Fucking bitch. Alright, well, let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with Garm here. They may have saved you during the war, but they ain't gonna save you now. I sense a distinct lack of firepower on your team. Uh, no. Fuck you. We're not doing that. Uh-uh. Oh, fuck you, Lieutenant Sir. Just fuck off! Pair of hacks and piece of shit. Yeah, sirs, you're right, bitch. Hit the damn target! Christ's sake! Fuck you. Nope, we're not playing these stupid games. Fuck off, you cheating bastard! Yeah, you always get it when- right when you need it! Fuck off! Yeah, fuck you! Now, how I know he, how do I know I, that he's cheating? Cause I fucking said so. Eat shit. Anyways, moving on. You know, funnily enough, in Fire Red Rocket Edition, Lieutenant Surge really is cheating. I'm not kidding, he actually has the player procure steroids for his Pokémon. So that tells you to go get Flash from him, okay. Whatever. I don't know what it is about electric gym leaders whenever I do these playthroughs, but they're always just a massive bitch! 
And it's not that it's necessarily... It's not that they're challenging, it's that they're cheap! Because they always just seem to get exactly the kind of RNG they need. Awfully convenient, isn't it? Not to mention they always have to spam para-hacks. Oh, a Brava, okay. Or by Brava, however you pronounce it. But yeah, if you're wondering the logic I was following there, well, okay, so here's a little story. A little historical story. So, I forget exactly when it was, but this was back in the, uh, one of the, uh, the Muslim caliphates, where they, basically, the guy in charge said, Oh, I'm descended from one of Muhammad's daughters. Well, a cleric asked him to prove it. You know what the guy did? He pulled out a sword and held it to the guy's throat, and he said, This is my evidence. I'm sure you'll find that's a very compelling argument. Okay, so this is the kid that normally gives you Mr. Mime. But it looks like, oh, he wants a Whalmer. Unfortunately, I do not have a Parasect. Hmm. So, are you watching home? Well, yeah. And here's the guy because you flash. Yeah, if you don't have 20 species in the Pokedex by this point, what's wrong with you? Seriously, it's not hard. We're gonna keep going south. Get bright powder. And, uh, so yeah. I suppose I should talk about, it's like, okay, appeal to force, right? The only flaw with appeals to force is, or argumentum ad baculum, that is, argue, that is appeal to the stick, is that it only works if you're in a position of relative strength. Oh yeah, you can find Wild Blossom here. Otherwise, it only works until... Well, you show a moment of weakness, and then the guy you were intimidating decides he's no longer intimidated. So, just general advice if you're going to rely on that sort of thing. Don't show weakness. People will exploit that. Now let's go get ourselves some more Safari Balls, because again, they are more efficient than regular Pokeballs. I did acquire a bunch of, well, regular Pokeballs back in Vermilion City, but... Yep, we'll go with 44 of these. Money with the Versus Seeker, money is no object for me anymore. Anyways, back to Vermilion. Oh, and on the way back, let's just teach this Meowth Flash as well. Yeah, gets cut, flash, and pick up. Quite useful. It's moving on. Oh, pro tip. If you want the Hitmons, you can get Tyrogue here in Diglas Cave. Once it hits level 20, what it evolves into depends on if it's attack or defense or higher or equal. If the attack is higher, it's Hitmon Lee. If the defense is higher, it's Hitmon Chan. If they're equal, it's Hitmon Top. Manipulating these is not easy, but, well, of course, the hardest one to get is Hitmon Top, but I'll be honest, Hitmon Top is also the worst of the three. It's just, especially in Gen 3, it's just utter shit. Level up. Okay, so we're back in Vermilion City right now, but I don't think I'm gonna go to Rock Tunnel just yet. I gotta catch a few more Pokemon and try and get the item finder before I go. Oh, funny you sh I should vent I should encounter this thing of, of all species, because, uh, well, guess what? You want to know what the craziest shiny encounter I ever had was? Here's a hint. It's a Pokemon you can't normally catch. I was doing a dark monotype of Fire Red Throwback. So by this point I had Umbreon, because it's the only dark type you could get in that hack prior to the Hall of Fame, right? Guess what Pokemon was shiny? 
Just take a wild guess. You haven't figured it out yet. It was the ghost Marowak in the Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town. I wish I was kidding. I was like, are you serious? Team Rocket killed a shiny Pokemon? What the hell, dudes? That's fucked up. <laughs> wow. I actually have a screenshot of it. I might edit it into the video or something. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, remember what I said about shinies that are virtually indistinguishable from the real deal? Well, the regular ones, rather? This is another one of those. Fampy. I'm gonna catch it, because uh, that's another Pokemon that can use pickup. Why not? Uh... Oh, your trunks. Man, I really hope you don't just go self destruct, please. Oh, wait, yeah, I think you have to be like level 20 something for it to know that. Stubborn little bastard. Alright, well. Yeah. Yeah, we're going there. Hey, remember Diglett? Yeah. For flow shit? Well, guess what this one is? Right, that's three flow shit. And now that we have 40 record species in the Kanto Pokedex, we can finally go and get the item finder. Oh, wait, no. I only needed 30. Never mind. Well... Eh. Anyways, now we have the item finder, we are going to move on. And you know what? I might just evolve my stars before we're done. I'm only three levels away on each one. First, we gotta go down here into the underground path. I'm sure there's a couple of items down here. Nope. What gives? There's supposed to be items down here. Guess not. Now we can cut our way through here and move on. That was... I think it's... Air. That's TM21 Frustration. In vanilla, that's where you get Aerial Ace. And I think I'd, I'd said it in my Emerald playthrough. The episode probably hasn't aired yet, but it might have. Where frustration is basically useless because you really have to go out of your way to make a Pokemon hate you. Whereas with Return, well, a Pokemon will like you just by walking around with it. One more level. Oh, hello, Linoon! I definitely want you. Let me put it this way. Strength, Cut, Rock Smash, Surf, and Pickup all rolled into one Pokemon. You better believe I want this. And, uh... Hmm, you know what? I know I'm gonna... Strike for the second, after my Linoon from the other playthrough. Moving on... Did I already fight this guy? Yes, I did. Yes, sir! Okay, there's somebody down here. Mm -hmm. Oh. Almost there. Cherry berry, okay. Nope. Yeah, nice try with your pair of hacks. It's time! And now we get to see one of the coolest shinies in the entire series. You think, oh, it's just gonna be gold. Nope. 
The thumbnail actually should have given this one away. Oh yeah, I like this one. Oh yeah, it learns wing attack too. Do I wanna? Do I really wanna? Eh, why not? Same type attack bonus. Might as well. I might teach you an aerial ace or something later. We'll see. Pele, you're up. Okay, what do we got over here? Oh yeah, I already taught Pele aerial ace. But, eh, I can go back and get another one real quick. I'll do that later. Hmm. Okay, nope. Alrighty. Level 34. Come on, we're almost there. Ooh! Oh yeah, that's cool, because the... There was an episode of, of the anime, I think it was Master Quest, where you get to see a shiny Magneton, and it's that color, it's kind of just dark gray. And we're going to call you... It's a physics reference. Oh yeah, there's this guy. Ah, Everstone. That might come in handy later. We'll see. Okay, so let's see. There should be at least one more trainer here. Mm -hmm. Right here. Okay, well now we could go into Rock Tunnel, but... No, we're not going to do that yet. Ooh, Moonstone. Uh, oh, there's an item up here as well. You can see that little... Lie in the grass? That tells you there's something there. Mystic Water! Oh, cool. Boost water type attacks. I don't know if we'll ever get any use out of that, but we'll see. First things first, let's go back to Vermilion City real quick and buy an Aerial Ace TM for Charizard. So yeah, the whole reason I taught it Aerial Ace is, uh, well, same base power, but it doesn't miss. Ever. No matter how many double teams or smoke screens or sand attacks the opponent uses. Anyways, moving on. Level up! At the end of this battle, you'll evolve. I do evolve stutter number two. Yep, virtually indistinguishable from the regular Blaziken, but somewhat darker in color. And we are actually not going to teach you Blaze Kick because you are primarily a physical attacker in this setup. Your turn, Jakowitz. Or I guess if it's a Mayan deity, it should be pronounced Hakowitz, or Hakowitz, something like that. I don't know, I don't, I don't speak Mayan. If you're wondering what the Versus Seeker does, I'll hit Select. And any trainer that I can rematch will have exclamation marks over here over their head. Get out of here! And you can do this as many times as you want. Whoops. It's a great way to farm experience and money. Especially, well, if a trainer has certain effort values that you want for your team, it's good to use. It's actually kind of broken. Oh, for those of you wondering, uh, yeah, Kolava's hidden power type is Buck. Okay, you know what? Fine. Fuck you. Fuck off. Anyways, we are back. And there we go.
And that is our third and final starter. Anyways, give you. I think that about wraps it up. Next time, we're going through Rock Tunnel. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page. I'll see you all next time.